You know, Nick Sirianni told his team, in all honesty, we won one game. we got to do it all over again on Sunday. Laura? Yeah, the Eagles are seeking their first 2-0 start since 2016 when they started 3-0. Sal Pal, thanks so much for joining us here. The latest from Jalen Hurts in camp there in Philly. You know, Key, I think a lot of people that know Jalen Hurts are not surprised by any of this, right? He's been at a competitively high level for his entire career, even going all the way back to high school. But then there are some people who are still surprised. What stood out to you about Hurts on Sunday? Well, first of all, you, what stood out most is zero turnovers, no interceptions, right? That's big. You're going to win a lot of football games if the quarterback can keep the ball and not give it to the other team. He completed 77% of his passes. They went out and got Devontae Smith, first-round pick. He delivered. Jalen Rigger finally showing up in the National Football League. So when you look at those sort of things, Laura, you're going to get productivity out of the quarterback position. Plus, he, he looks right. What do you mean by that? Just when he walks, his presence, yeah. it just mm -hmm. looks right. That makes everybody else around him feel extremely good. You don't want a quarterback that looks like, oh, well, it's a tough day today. He gives you the confidence that you can go out there and you can win football games. And when you talk about people being negative, that goes all the way back to Alabama when he lost his starting job. Right. He's a second-round pick. If he was a first-round pick, people wouldn't have that. Think about the first-round picks in this year's draft. They talk positive about him. Think about the first-round picks in last year's draft. They talk positive about him. That is what happens when yeah. the people set narratives. Okay, that's exactly it. When you are a first-round pick, you get more slack. When you're a second-round pick, there are more doubts cast your way. And I think people have wondered all along how Jalen Hurts would respond to this season being given the starting job in Philadelphia, even though they waited until after the preseason until officially naming him starter. And then he comes out in the first game against Atlanta, lights up the Falcons' defense, and yes, maybe Atlanta's not one of the top defenses in the league, but it's still a road game for a team that struggled last year, and this is the most excited that Philadelphia has been about its football team in over a year right now. And again, you just have to take a look at what's going on in the market. If you take a look, Jalen Hurts' jersey sales, and I posted this on my Instagram account today, have surged 500% wow. percent since the game on Sunday. And look at the first <laughs> comment as soon Jeez. as I posted that from Dwayne Wade himself saying that Jalen Hurts is a winner, point blank, period. One winner calling another guy a winner. And I think that tells you a little bit about the type of respect that Jalen Hurts has in the community. Yeah, you know, guys, it's interesting because all the way back to his college days, a lot of times Jalen Hurts would be a guy that would get criticism. We've talked about that a lot. But unlike some players who are affected negatively by criticism, Jalen Hurts is the opposite. He's like, bring it on. I want to hear all of it because it actually fuels him to be even better. There's something about him that's always liked to prove those doubters wrong. And I think we're watching that now at the NFL level, which is really interesting to see because some of, the, some of these players, right, and I get it, you sort of crumble under these bright lights. Jalen Hurts instead likes to prove people wrong. He's done that throughout his career. He's going to continue to try and do it there in Philly. Another chance to do it this week. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.